Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at lesson two, three, add and subtract money. Um, this is some of those real world concepts that you are going to use on a daily basis. You need to be able to add money because obviously you don't want someone to give you money that's the wrong amount and making sure that you know the total amount when you receive an amount of money. So that's why we're going to learn this and this is something you are gonna use in real life. So our problem today says, three pieces of software cost $20.75, $10.59, and $18.25. What is the total cost of the software? software? Use mental math to solve. So what we're going to do is we are going to circle the three amounts that we have. We have two, $20.75, $10.59, and $18.25. And our question says, what is the total cost? So I know that I'm going to add up my total because we would have, we're looking for the total amount, so we're gonna add. Now it says, you can use patterns and structure. What do you know about adding three numbers that will make it easier to solve this problem? Well, I know if I add 75 and 25, I'm going to have 100, so that would be a little bit easier. So I'm gonna start adding that up first. So I have $20, and 75 cent, and I'm gonna add to that $18 and 25 cent, okay? So I know that this is going to give me, um, uh, sorry, that's, <laughs> and I'm re regrouping, so that's a one, bring down my decimal. So now I have $20 plus 18 plus that dollar from the 75 cent and the 25 cent. So that would give me $21, or let's add it up right here. One plus eight is nine, two plus one is three. So that would be $39 just like it is. So is that my total amount? No, because we still have that $10.59. So we're gonna add plus $10.59, and that should be easy. We know that that's gonna be 59 cent, and 39 plus 10 is gonna give me 49. So we should have $49.50. That would be our total cost of the software. And we know, and the reason I did this, remember, is because we're gonna add our 75 cent plus our 25 cent. I know that when I add that up, that's gonna give me a whole dollar, which makes it a little bit easier, rather than if I would have added up 75 plus your 59. Make sense? Good. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next page. On this page, we see how can you use mental math to add and subtract. So the properties of addition to help you find these total of the three items. So we have the associative property. Your associative property is gonna let you change the groupings of add-ins. So instead of adding $11.45 plus $3.39, we can add $3.39 plus $9.55 and then add our 11.45 after. Okay, the other property that we're gonna look at is our commutative property. This lets you add two decimals in any order. So you can have $11.45 plus $3.39. It's gonna be the same as $3.39 plus $11.45. So you can flip them around in any order as long as you're adding and it's still gonna give you the same answer. The commutative property and the associative property make it easier to add three numbers. So if we go down here where it says use the commutative property to change the order, so now in this example, they have $11.45, they, they moved it around, so now we're still $11.45, but they moved these two numbers that are in parentheses around so just to make it easier, and then you're gonna reassociate um, with 11.45 and 9.55, and you would add that up first. Because we see the fives, we know when we see two fives together, it's normally easier to add up than a five and a nine. So you would add those two first because they are easier to compute mentally. Again, we know five plus five is gonna be easier to compute than five plus your nine, and then you could find the total cost that way. So you can flip these numbers around, and it's still gonna give you the same answer. All right. Let's go ahead and go to this one where it says another example. 
All right, so with this one, it says Vanessa buys a fishing pole for $20.57 and a tackle box for $22.39. So I'm gonna circle those two. So we have a fishing pole and a tackle box. How much change does she get from $50? So if we're looking at the change, we're gonna be subtracting because that means you're paying a certain amount and you're gonna get something in return. So this one, if we're finding the total for these two, we would add those up to see how much we spent and then we would subtract that from our $50 because that's what we're paying. We're paying with some $50 bill, we have to figure out how much change we're gonna get back. It says with co comp or sorry, not computation. I said that earlier. It's compensation. Adjust one or more numbers to make the calculation easier. Then adjust the sum or difference. So with this one, we're going to find the total of our items. So again, we're going to add up the cost of your fishing pole plus the cost of your tackle box. So with this one, they said $20.60. They rounded it up a little bit, plus $22.39, so they added that and they gave you this. Thir three cent was too much was added, so compensate, you would subtract three cent from the result, so you would try subtract that. Honestly, if I'm being honest with you, I would just add this up instead of worrying about this because that's gonna mess you up in the end. I feel like it might not necessarily do that, um, but with my history of seeing students adding, you, you might forget to do that step. So what I would do is I would just add this up and just double check and make sure you added it correctly. Then that would give you that total of $42.96. Okay, and then we would find the change. So again, you're paying with that $50 bill and you're subtracting the amount that you paid. Remember the amount that you paid was $42.96. Again, they're saying to round it up to the nearest dollar. No, I would not do that, but I would subtract it. So you would have $50 minus $42.96. And then when you subtracted it, you would be left with $7.04 and in change. Okay, so just be careful with these. Your subtraction is gonna be the same as what you do with regular subtraction. The only thing different when you have decimals is you have to bring down that decimal. So if I did this, I am not gonna have $50. So I'm gonna cross this out, make that a four, cross this out, make it a 10, I still have to regroup, that's a nine. This is a 10, I still have to regroup, that's a nine. This is a 10, so 10 minus six is four, nine minus nine is zero, nine minus two is seven, and this would be zero. So again, see, I'm getting the same answer, except I'm not having to do this. All right, the next part says, show how you would use compensation to add $3.18 and $6.50. Again, I'm just going to add $3.18 and $6.50. Okay, so that's an eight, that's a six, that's a nine. There's my $9.68. Easy enough, right? All right, this one says, use properties to rewrite the expression to be easier to solve than give the sum. So this one is $13.80 plus $4.63 plus $7.20. What I probably would do is I would use the, um, the commutative property to flip these around. So I would flip 1380 and 463. So I would have $4.63 plus 1380 plus $7.20. And then I would regroup it this way. And then I'm seeing 80 and 20. I know that I can add 80 and 20 easily, so I don't have to worry about that so much. And I now I've used the first part when I flipped it would be your commutative property. property. And then your second one would be your associative property. OK, 
okay? Again, I'm not expecting you to do mental math for these. You can just add it up. You add up the ones that you're gonna know are gonna be a little bit easier and then find what works for you. So I want you on your own to do three and five. So circle three, circle five, circle seven, and circle 10. Then I want you to flip to the back. I want you to circle 11, circle 13, and circle 14. So I'm not gonna make you do a whole bunch, but I do want you to do a couple of these word problems. That way you have some practice doing some of these word problems as you go through. Okay, all right. Let me know if you need any help. As always, you can go back, rewind, rewatch, and see if, you, if you're not understanding it, rewatch first, and then if you're still not understanding it, call and ask for help. All right, y'all are awesome. Bye, guys.